Hello everybody and welcome back to the Isaac streak. We are back again. We're on a one streak and we're jumping over to the tainted variant here. There's plenty of people we could get here that are bad, um, including tainted fiend who I haven't played in a really long time because he was incredibly laggy the last time I played him. Honestly, randomizing via this is very risky because of the... Um, I don't actually know if these guys have tainted variants, you know. Um, is is really risky just because of some of the enemies in here. Um, enemies, some of the characters in here, especially the modded ones. But that's what we're in for. So let's just go for it and see who we end up getting. And we get Judas. In fact, I'm, I might want to find a way. Okay, the game crashed. So one second. Okay, we are we are back, I think. We are back. Let's try that again, shall we? So, we're meant to be going as Dark Judas. Yeah, I might want to use an external randomizer just to exclude some of the modded characters like Fiend and like Tainted Kane that are just abhorrent. <laughs> but I guess I guess it's it's all part of the fun, isn't it? So maybe I'll just leave it in. You guys will let me have to let me know what you think. But anyways, Dark Judas is our next one on the list. Um and we'll see. By the way, also, I do have a part of this new interface where I can actually tweak my streak. So if we do lose a streak to a crash, we do have the ability to uh, to work on that. So it's it's fine. We, we, we can work around things. But Dark Judas, he's always been a bit of a tricky one, but not too bad. I don't actually know why I decided to come down the alley here like this, but... Oh, uh, well, we get this chest chest here and barrel here, which we can open this with. Lovely. And we get Roll of Film, which... Uh, Half heart damage now taken at three hearts or below. Pretty useful. Pretty useful. And um, we also get a new item here, the Hive. Um, don't exactly know what this does, but it gave us a bunch of blue flies. So, so far, so good. We also got Faded Polaroid from the roll of film. Oh! Our flies travel in the direction of our shooting. Which seems bad. <laughs> I don't I don't know what the advantage to that is. Um, oh, but okay. Okay. It's meant to be a disadvantage, I think, because we get quite a lot of flies at the end of each room. Okay, this is this is nice. This is a pretty good item. Yeah, it's, I think it's meant to be a disadvantage so that um, Soul Heart there, lovely. So that we uh, don't, it doesn't make us too overpowered having all of these, but Using them like this is pretty cool. I like this. I like this a lot. It's kind of like having um, Blue Baby's only friend, but in fly version. Uh, I think I'd rather have another key here, so we'll go and do that. In fact, one minute, one minute, one minute. Is this secret room here? Let me just check. We are streaking here, so we want to be min-maxing as much as we can. Unfortunately, that didn't open that up, so we missed out on something there. We're not going for boss rush or anything like that at the moment, so let's go back to this room over here and see what we can get. We also need to make sure to use dark arts a little more often than we have been this floor thus far. It's useful. At least we only take half a heart of damage from that. God damn it. Wasn't expecting that troll bomb to get blasted towards us, let me tell you that. Right. Go, go, go. So, wait, do the flies automatically attract to enemies if I don't touch anything? I think they do. Right, you do your thing and spawn in, guys. Just to dodge that tier easily. I'll have to see if the blue flies do automatically hum if I don't touch anything, because it seems like they still do. Um, Cube of Rot is fine. It kind of might work with um, Dark Arts anyways, so either way, let's keep it going. But not a bad way to start off a streak. As for the question of the day-to-day... Oh lord, sorry. What's a game you're looking to complete this year? Okay, so they will still automatically... They will still automatically go towards the enemy if I don't touch anything. But that's good to know. So I can I can use Dark Arts at the start of a room and it'll, uh, it'll do some good stuff for me. Double soul heart payout. Triple soul heart payout. That's very nice for a streak, that is. 
But yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the hive as an item. It's kind of like having three or four rotten hearts, but for the rest of the run. It makes the early game so much more simple. It's not like completely easy breezy now or anything, but it helps. Also, this trinket's pretty good for us too. I like that. Right, item room is going to hold something new. A uh, temporary flower power. Don't quite know what that means, but we'll figure it out as we go. Another soul heart there. I'm going to buy HP whenever I can. Temporary flower power. Oh, it's... It's fire mind on demand. Fire mind? Yeah, fire mind, yeah. Also, can we just talk about the fact that hair physics works on uh, the fez, the bobble on top of the fez? That's kind of cute. Okay, so I think it's just fire mind on demand, which honestly, three room charge isn't... It's not great for that, but it's it's an interesting item nonetheless. Okay, I do not like this room at all. Rem remember to use dark arts whenever necessary. Oh, I dark arts myself there. That was goose-like behavior. Okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, I'll use it when I can, but... Like, when I think it's necessary, but... Honestly, Fire Mind isn't particularly useful a lot of the time, so I don't want to always use it. Good, good. Extra bomb. Let's quickly look for secret room here. Um, I'm not entirely sure where it would be right now. It could be up from here. Looks likely to be there. Yeah, it looks pretty likely to be here. It's not. Wow. So where else could it be then? In the crook of this room, maybe? Yeah, it could be right here. And that's the only other place it could be, to be honest. Hmm. Looks likely to be there, but let me let me just do some checking. Okay. I'll check this out here. There you go. Hey, we get Strange Apple as well. Do not mind if I do. I'm going to blow up all of these for the chance ahead of the Keeper. Or Coupon. I'd rather have Coupon than this active, I think. Unfortunately, not the best, but... Oh, uh, well. Right. Strange Apple's pretty decent. A little bit large and in charge, but overall pretty good. Oh, it does give us a damage up as well. Okay, that makes it a little nicer. What we could do with is Hive Mind. Fish hook, tears plus shot speed. Not bad, not bad. I don't mind tears and I don't mind shot speed. We're going angel deal with this HP, I think. That makes some uh, more sense to me. Makes more sense to me indeed. Right, one moment. Right, let's keep this going. We've got dark art straight into here, lovely. Potentially get a black out of one of these. Nah. But yeah, at least at least the flower does give us a damage up as well. I like that. Just some cards so far. Which, uh, destroy all those shots. Got another card here, which I'm unsure of what it does. Need to chill out, my guy. Wheel of Fortune and the Servant. The Servant's just the one that spawns a bunch of mini Isaacs. Good, good, good. Wheel of Fortune, I'll play somewhere where I want to bomb something, I guess. More damage we get as well is going to be better for these flies. Secret room looks to be to the left here, so I'll think about that. Oh, God. This is a bit horrible. Sorry, mini Isaacs. You're kind of stuck over there. Little bit trapped, but it's okay. Uh, we can go around the edge, okay, at least. It's not so bad in that room. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the uh, the setup we got going on here, and I'm really liking... Oh, God, what is going on with our Fez's, uh, Fez's little hairy bit? L little hair physics bit is getting a little bit glitched out in the uh, in the reflection there. <laughs> the one attached to our head's fine, but the reflection, not so much. Item room here contains... Hey, dude. Snake and snake. Snake and snake alike. 
Lovely. Our snake has a snake friend. It is the first era of gaming snake and the new era of gaming snake. Once they're at war, now they are at peace. Okay. Still no bomb, unfortunately. Secret room could also be right there, to be honest. That makes a lot of sense to me. Do we want to go straight for boss here? And none of those guys got a chance to jump on me there. Go straight for boss. I'm going to take this for now. Okay, that was a bad hit by me there. Got a soul heart from him though. And ball of bandages, which again with dark arts is good. It's not great, but it's good. And keep this for now. Uh, we've been to our item room and shop. I still want to explore this floor, try and get a bomb. Um, have we been to the shop? Actually, we haven't been to the shop, no. Okay. Uh, ooh, gamble of the century here, because this could ruin our run, but I will take it. Sextant, candy, bookmark, and fool's gold. All pretty decent. Not too bad at all. Uh, that That's a, a huge, huge gamble toy box, because there's two or three trinkets that are, like, devastating run ruining trinkets like a roboros worm could ruin your run there's one called the white candle which activates the uh the white fire effect from downpour permanently until you drop the trinket so if it's smelted you're screwed what the hell hit me then i can't really see what's going on with some of these enemies and friendlies that we've got going on right now it's a little annoying also this is oh god this is tedious <laughs> I need these jumpy guys to die. They're really distracting. I'll try and let them just, just tucker themselves out, but... Okay, I think they're both dead. Okay, no, one of them's still alive. Okay, they're both dead. Good. They were very distracting. Golden bombs. That solves our problems. Lovely. Okay. Now we can start making some waves to try to find secret room. That is not secret room. Honestly, just, just bomb through this in case we have to come back this way. It's going to be easier. Um, Could be here. There it is. And second secret room will most definitely be over here. We should bomb all these mushrooms as well for the chance at magic mush. You never know what you're going to get. Liberty cap. I think I'm actually happy with the trinket I've got right now. The random stunning of enemies is pretty nice. Good, good. And then just a free hug, which would be splendid if he gives us a soul heart, but yeah. Had a feeling he wouldn't. He, he he tends not to. It's not his fault. Thus far, nothing in terms of extra mushroomy items, but hey her. We do have enough to buy this soul heart now, which I'm very happy about. Want to keep that health soaring high as we can. Right, we are good to go. I'll take that, thank you. Yeah, good to go. Okay, the streak is alive and well. I mean, we're only at a two streak right now. In, in fact, it's weird because I knew, uh, like, the new save file is actually on a higher streak currently than the streaking series. We've only just started this one, so we can give ourselves some slack. I like our two snakes, honestly. They're, they're doing a great job. They're doing a great job. Ooh, big mushroom. Whoa, what the fuck happened then? Did you see that? Like a bunch of mushrooms came out of the mushroom. Anyways, we've got enough bombs to, to blow this up. Mushroom flesh. Random horse pill. Hey, tears up. A pretty big tears up as well. Why are we getting so many of these charmed jumpy guys? Where are they coming from? Balls of steel. 
Okay, that was great. I don't know. Okay, so I think one of the trinkets we smelted, that little corn razor thing, whenever we activate a card or pill, it does not on hit effects. I think that's what's going on there. I don't know what the little Bible is, the little devil Bible that we've got going on there is. I'm not entirely sure about that. But I guess we'll find out. Or I guess we won't. Some 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 trinkets you never know. It can be like 3% black heart chance, so you'd never really come across it naturally. There is no way in hell on any run ever that I'd take Little Portal seriously. So I will not be taking him. I'm sorry, Little Portal, but you should be better. And then maybe people would like you. He's now blue flies to do the damage there. Tinted rock there, lovely. But health's in a really good spot now. Yeah, I want these worm jumpy boys to go away. They're, they're, they're very frustrating. I don't even know where I'm getting them. I don't have any bombs to blow that thing up. I, try, I just tried blowing it up and realized, yeah, I don't have bombs. <laughs> so many of them. Can you kill yourself on spikes, maybe? Nah. Must be one of the items I have that's doing this. But I, I, I'm genuinely not sure which one it would be. Unless it's just the snake. Unless the snake does that. Because I've just got this army of constantly jumping nincompoops. Ow. So, okay, we've got plenty to work with right now health-wise. So, a small hit's not going to hurt us too much. Lovely. We've got a bomb, but I don't think it's worth it right now. Oh, really? He literally dodged my dark arts perfectly there. This is such a strange run. I am like the, the snake charmer right now. Uh, angel deal here. Finally, good. Oh, and it's holy light as well. I absolutely adore holy light as an item. It's one of my favorite tier effects, just just simply because it's cool and I don't get it very often. Really enjoy having it. With more luck, it becomes absolutely outstanding. It's pretty good as is, but the more luck you can get, the better it becomes. Dark arts we can do to do that on the fool's... Uh, the fool's not fool's gold. The um, reflected item. Little chest here is pretty good. Pet rock is also decent. While it's mainly just cool because it's a pet rock and it's cute, he can also be pushed over gaps to fill in the gaps if there's something over a gap that we need to get. The, the biggest problem with that is just remembering that that's actually what he does. We've got a chunk of tar here. Um, I'm having a hard time with spotting what's going on anywhere at any time, pretty much all the time. Um, one, three friendly blots on room entry. I think that could be good. We've already got a bunch of charmed things already, so why not spawn a bunch of friendly blots as well? Golden penny there. Fortunately, not a great golden penny, but <laughs> this is... This has become a little bit nuts, hasn't it? This has been taken a little far. I mean, the good thing is it's doing us some very nice damage. Bad thing is it's kind of hard to see anything. <laughs> Ooh, tears. Our tears are looking very good. We just broke the cap. We will grab that because we're probably going to beat boss rush timer here. We're going pretty quick. We might as well try and steal from boss rush. Dude, my minions are doing quite a lot of damage for me, to be honest. Like, as distracting as they are, they are actually pretty goddamn useful. The little blots, one to three pair room means that we've basically got a constant army available of these guys. Where's the other ghosty? 
Tier multiplier if you don't have any red heart containers. Ooh, that might be better. What does it put our tiers up to? Okay, it literally doesn't move our tiers at all. Shame. Ooh, we got crowdfund there. Use to toggle coin fire. Each bullet costs one cent to fire. When hitting a wall, bullets have a chance to drop a fading coin. Killing enemies to the crowdfunder may also drop extra money. Pretty cool, but we are just going to go for the safe route of the soul heart right now. We don't even have the money to get the crowdfunder right now anyways. So, bit of a non-starter to even discuss it. Man, the fact that blue flies can't get through these red blocks is even more annoying. Yeah, you go, good sir, you go. This is chaotic. <laughs> this is such a chaotic run. Oh, uh, do you know what? Maybe, maybe that little Bible a trinket that I got smelted is the thing that's summoning all these little wigglers. Maybe it's that. I'm not entirely sure, but maybe it's that. Right. There's just so many of them. Right, we haven't seen item room yet, so let's get walking back. Actually, wait, we've got our um, we've got our full card, so let's just let's just do it now. Probably should have saved this till the next boss fight, but there you go, it's done now. Some HP, obviously not very good considering it's only one soul heart, but there you go. Okay, should be a fairly quick kill. Didn't realize this was an XL floor for a hot minute, so we've not seen either of our item rooms right now. We'll at least get our boss rush item and get out of there. It's been a good while since I stole from boss rush, I think. It's been a good bit of time. This hasn't actually been a quicker fight as I thought. I think it's because he killed many of our babies. My mother's foot stomped on our children. And therefore, our soul. Right, we um, we are going to go Light Path, I guess. And in here, we're going to take Friendly Sack, I think. Which isn't a great item to grab, but it's an item that's, that I do like. Right, let's keep moving through and trying to find our item room now. And her... We can rebuild that army that we hate so much. The distracting thing is, I just wish the charmed enemies were like, a, like had an outline or a different colour rather than just being slightly, slightly desaturated. That's literally all it does. It slightly desaturates them and that's it. I'm going to play this game this entire time, are we? Yeah, I'm going to say, I wish it would just, like, highlight them in a different colour or make them in a different colour entirely so you could more easily spot them rather than just looking for the hearts above their heads. Good, good. Oh, God. In here, we get a great item. Item that I absolutely love. Oh, we, we got a clot from uh, Friendly Sack, so already paying itself off. I would say at least, I would say. And what we got over here? Second item room better be something special. What you got for us? Oh, obsessed fan, amazing. Okay. Unfortunately, item room, but health is looking good. Uh, Cricket's body, really, really good. My character's looking very good. Oh my god, we have... 
Do you know what? Actually, Friendly Sack's kind of funny because it spawns clots and a bunch of other stuff. So we're, we're even further expanding our army now. Like, this, this whole run of snakes, pins, little blobby boys, fire poops, clots, a pet rock. Just... I just like BFF from somewhere now, and I think I think it'd truly be complete. It's a beautiful, beautiful run, I'd say. Right. Drop on through. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right, let's keep moving while we can. Dark arts will use you when necessary, but I don't think you're going to be necessary that often. Hopefully we can find our way through pretty quickly here. Womb floors are the floor I like to spend the least amount of time on if I can. Oh, dude, random soul heart drop. We are at max HP, baby. Oh, man. I love Cricket's body with um, tier effects. Having that, that holy light be able to trigger multiple times is just joyous. Oh, dude, that is a super speedy, super speedy boom one. Ah, oh, that hit me, goddammit. That was really stupid of me. Oh, God, the explosions are going crazy. Okay, explosions and light. Hope we get to smell our trinkets, potentially. Um, pff, great. <laughs> Shattered urn. <laughs> Tends to chai's health bar. Oh, my God, that was stupid. Right, anyways. Down we go. Uh, I guess I'll check out the Devil Deal in case there's anything amazing in there. Like, fuck tons of HP. I'll be taking this, thank you. Okay. Getting that basically secures our victory here. That's very, very nice. Glad I checked that. Curse of Rebirth. That's a lot of donation money, but I'm not bothered about that for now. I will fill up my donation machine for this streak at some point. I'm gonna have to. In fact, you know what? Yeah, I will go and I will go and do that. I, I really should. I might need the money at some point. I really should be filling up the donation machine whenever I can. I know it's wasting time, but we don't need to be there for any particular speed. If we can get all 30 into the machine, that'd be a good start. We, need, we just need to have enough in to make bombing it viable on other runs. Also, plus luck. Didn't even think about that. Plus luck is very nice. Yeah, we did get 30 in there. That's good. Getting bonus luck adds to our holy light ability. Come on, gentlemen. Kill him. I'm going to say this is the right way. It feels it feels correct. Okay. I'm really not using dark arts much at the moment, but I think that's fine. Dude, these things are actually amazing. These little hoppity boys. They actually seek out enemies pretty well. I like them. I think as well we've taken some risks this run. We've not been completely safe. We took Toy Box, which I think is a potentially pretty big risk. Ah, unfortunately this was not the right way. That is a real shame. All this distance. For not... Keep rolling on. And wrong way again. Damn it. It's not so bad. Oh, there's some tears in here that I'm just not seeing. I've been taking damage that isn't damage. I, I did I did say that I have something where like popping cards seem to activate the dull razor effect, but I think there's something else that's also popping dull razor. Because I've been take like having hits happen that aren't actually damaging hits. It's getting a little confusing at times. I'm going to miss having Fire Mind, though. I will say that. That Fire Mind was pretty, pretty fun. Opening a secret room will refund one bomb. Walking into a bomb chest opens them for free. That's, that's pretty cool. 
You see that then? I, I took damage in there, but didn't actually take damage. Come on, my little army. All this started with that hive item, which I very much like. Yeah, yet, yet again, I just took damage and it didn't deal any damage to me. But I, I saw, I saw myself get hit. So it, it's either one of the trinkets I have or something else is going on. I do not know. Very confusing. See, then I got hit by that explosion, dealt no damage to me. So maybe I'm just invincible. But I can clearly still get hit. I've been hit a few times. Oh, really going to respond this enemy of all enemies? Of all enemies you could have respawned, it had to be that guy. Yet again, okay, I, I, I think I'm just invincible. Unless my health is lying to me and I'm, I'm, I'm going to die. Let's pop this again, just in case. No, it doesn't seem to be the case, because that did replace the soul heart. Turning enemies into gold somehow as well. Oh man, this room's all sorts of messed up. Boss time. It's the big boss. Okay, come on, snakeies. Get in there. Just circle around him. Do your best. No damage once again. I'm just, st st for some reason, mostly invincible. It's quite nice. Invincibility is not... Not something you see often, but... You should try it. It's underrated. Okay. Nice easy finish on you. And we go up. We go up, up, up. Maybe that book trinket has something to do with black hearts. Me having a certain amount of black hearts is like... A ch you get a chance to negate a hit pair black heart you have. Or something. I'm just trying to figure out what it could be. Because that, that trinket that we've got looks like a little satanic bible. Yeah, look, I took no damage there as well. It does look like a small satanic bible, so... I'm thinking that could be it. If anyone knows, let me know, because, yeah, I'm a little bit perplexed right now. Little bit perplexed. Right. We should be pretty much good to go here, though, the rest of the run. With our invincibility into... Oh, I realise why I'm turning things to gold now. I have, um... I have a, a little golden boiler next to me. You can fire golden shots, I think. I just have not a worry in the world about taking damage now. Hello, Carrie. How you doing? Do you like some laser beams from above? You seem pretty stuck there. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, bloody... Need mapping. Got down wrong way again. Okay, not too difficult of a room to get around. God, I, I like the way our eyes are glowing at the moment. Dude! Every which way is a wrong way. God! Check the secret room here. Missing no. I, I think I'll say no to that, thank you. That is a risk that I will not be taking. Ooh, we got two giant pots in here. Unfortunately, we do not have even close to the amount of bombs required to uh, destroy either of those. Cool room nonetheless, though. We got mutant spider from one of those last time, so would have been nice to open them up, but sadly, we can't be so lucky right now. I suppose we could try and find bombs around, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Dude, the amount of clots we have. Doing so much extra damage because of the clots. Okay. Boss time. We'll also take that. Extra black heart. Just in case black hearts are giving, giving us a chance to negate damage. 
I want as many of them as I can possibly get. Right, make sure all my clotty boys are uh, lined up. There you go, try and sit behind me as well so they don't take damage. Ow. I say ow, didn't take damage. It's triggering all my on-hit effects though, like Polaroid and stuff, so... I just don't know what to tell you. Who'd have thought I'd start a streak and then get something that makes me immune to damage? I just have a feeling it's going to catch up with me at some point and then I'm going to take loads of damage all at once or something. I'm not going to expect it and it's going to kill me. Right, anyways, we are on to the next floor. And we shall see what we get. We're full up on black hearts now. Well, D6 is pretty goddamn good. Um, I honestly think we D6 all of these. That's decent. All the rest of them can get D6 again. Rosary, I'd probably rather just leave how it is. Oh lord, that was a satisfying room. Good old finger. I will take a finger. Oh, we got a little um, friendly mulligan here from the friendly sack as well. He just walks with us, does our thing, likes to chill. Where art thou, boss? We've, like, the crazy thing about this run is, I don't know if you've noticed, but we still have 3.5 damage. <laughs> like, we haven't had a single damage up this entire run. Like, nothing. But the run is still incredible. Our fire rate is, like, it's good, but it's not crazy considering the fact that we have, uh, base damage. But... Isaac sure does work in mysterious ways, so we've managed to keep this run alive somehow. Oh god damn, this guy's kind of difficult now. Skolex with the armor. He do be tricky. There you go. Right, back over to those items. I don't know if we'll be invincible now we don't have Satanic Bible, by the way. So i still got to be cautious. Um, that's good. We'll take that. Those two can also be re-rolled. But I think we'll end up heading to the boss before... As long as we're going the right way, we'll end up finding the boss before we end up um, re-rolling those. Okay, there's a lot of electricity going on right now. I think that's my plasma orb doing that craziness. Plasma orbs pretty good. Some of the enemies like staying so far away from me. Oh lord, this is a tough room. This will probably be where we figure out if we do take damage or not. These guys fire a lot of herming shots. Okay, we still don't take damage, it's fine. Oh dude. Dude. Has stars has um the stars thing still not been fixed? Yeah, it's still not been fixed. That's annoying. So this item, the little, the one that I took last, 1.2 times tears and 1.2 times uh, thingy. It's basically what it's meant to do is it's meant to randomize your tier and damage modifiers between upper and lower limit. But there's no upper and lower limit. So it can give you 1.3 damage and 10 fire rate. It's not meant to be able to do that. And it can give you like... 18 damage and one fire rate. Yeah, not not how it's meant to work. It was I thought it had been fixed, but apparently not. So yeah, we have one fire rate and seven damage. Like, why would I ever, 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 ever want this? Redundant answers. 
Oh lord, what is going on here? Nine damage to uh, fire is not bad. Doesn't matter, it's gone. Oh no, no, we're still roughly in the uh, in the running here. You guys need to chill. So yeah, the boss might be a little tough because we're going to be randomizing stats, but we can't die, so it won't be that tough. <laughs> But everything knows a dolphin down there. Why is there a dolphin in the chest? Right, please say this is boss. We've come so far. It's not even boss. God damn it. Ooh, hello. I will certainly take that. Especially with high fire rate. If we can keep the high fire rate, that'd be splendid. Oh lord. It's kind of hard to keep track of. There's a lot going on here. Too many tears on screen. Oh god, I'm definitely very isaac out for today. I've played a lot of Isaac today. It's been good though. I've had had some fun. We've had a good few wins. I think we've had all, all three of the videos I've recorded today have been wins, I'm pretty sure. Why would that monster die, man? Monster is taking forever to die. Spider bite's lovely. Walk right into that creep. Okay, that's a bugger tier at least. Yeah, the damage we are outputting right now is not not amazing. But like I said, we can't die, so it's it's really not that not that big of a deal. We just keep on going with him. I don't want to like purposely take damage in case like, like I said, this all catches up with us at some point. Which I don't know if it ever will, but it might. But I can play it very risky because I, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to die. That's a lot of bugger tears stuck to you, my lad. <laughs> he yeeted them all off of himself when he died there. That's pretty funny. I get as many more of them on him as we can. Unfortunately, it does teleport around, which I think will drop off. Yes, it will. It drops off the bugger tears, which is not what we want to see. But you stay in the middle, bud. It's just about dead. Oh, I took damage. What the hell? I took damage. It must be something like that. I'll have to find out what that is. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. We're not going to do Delirium, even though... We have invincibility because the fight would just take forever. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the second win of the streak and I'll see you guys in the next one.